The Fortis Coliseum has been in the game for about a month now, and along with being arguably the hardest solo content in the game, it is also the best money in the game. It is not even close. Dude, look, 20 million GP per hour. So what are we doing, boys? You guessed it. It is time for a Sweaty Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sweaty Sunday, a series in which I, your humble host, Tasty Life, race against the GP per hour listed on the wiki for various bosses for eight hours straight. Now, if I manage to beat the projected GP, I get to keep it. But if I lose, I have to give it away to one of you guys, the lucky commenters. So to enter to win today's prize pool, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment with both your RS and the next boss you'd like to see. So I figured for today's episode, since Coliseum is so new, I'm going to give you guys a bit of a mini guide on how to make the most money possible, along with a few cheeky wave solves, various tips and tricks, my overall thoughts on this content. Now I do film every episode live on my kick channel linked down below. So tune in on Sundays if you want to watch what's going on. Let's jump in. So here is the setup we've got going on today. Uh, I'm not going to go over like different gear setups and gear decisions. I will say I don't recommend this setup for learners specifically, but if you are comfortable with the Coliseum, this rips take it in time starts now and we actually have a lot to talk about with this content what the flip is coliseum well for the uninitiated it is the new solo content pretty similar to inferno it's extremely hard wave based it's got pillars you know prayer cycles game fix yeah it's you know nerd shit but there's also some key differences they have improved a lot over the inferno with this some parts not as much uh, but in my opinion it's a lot more fun and for starters it's a lot shorter and i feel like a lot of the difficulty in inferno comes from supply management from pressure from time commitment you have to wear a diaper because it takes two hours coliseum is really all mechanical skill and your ability to solve a wave as fast as possible and it goes fast and it gets hard today's episode is sponsored by blue chew i'm kidding i don't uh, i don't know if i can actually make that joke because i have a real sponsor for this but we'll see if they get mad uh, anyway there are 12 total waves the 12th being the boss itself and after every wave completion you can choose to claim your loot or you can continue the run and risk it all if you die you do get nothing you lose it all and your death fee is probably like 500k so this shit is expensive to learn and i'm gonna give you guys my best tips on this content but let's see how the first couple hours fare wait what is that in the reward box is that a factor box? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now, let me put a guess out there. You order food delivery multiple times a week. It's not necessarily the healthiest, and you shouldn't be spending that much money. Well, guess what? That was me for a long time, but uh, Factor has come to the rescue. Factor is a fantastic meal prep delivery service that can help you on all of those fronts. Uh, not only is the convenience insane, like all you have to do is get out of your gaming chair, heat up a healthy and great tasting meal. But what I love the most is I actually feel like I'm eating good food as opposed to some heavy, oily, fast food. There's a bunch of variety too with over 27 meal options per week to guarantee that you never get bored of eating the same meal prep for seven days straight. So it's super easy to stay on top of your health goals, your financial goals, your time goals, etc. Thanks to Factor75 for sponsoring today's video. Use my link to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Well, that was a little sticky. I didn't really love that. I'm not gonna lie. That was a little sticky. Fuck. That's not good. Oh my god, that is so fucking lucky. Oh my god, that is so lucky. Holy shit. Ooh. Huh? What? What did I do? Okay. What do we got? Manti Mayhem 2? Darn. I guess we have to take Manti Mayhem 2 for the boss. Whoop! There we go, buddy boy. Okay. Could have been a little cleaner. Could have been a little cleaner, but I will take that. That is 19 KC, the first quiver of the day. Took an hour though, that's not good. But that was a good warm up. That was a good warm up. I'm banking it all. No time to waste, boys. We go back. Okay, get in here, bitch. Oh my fucking god. That was terrifying. What were those lasers? Oh my god. 
There's fucking lasers at the end. Jesus Christ. All right, 3.6 mil in a quiver. 2KC back to back, dude. Another 30 minutes. Time is kind of flying, honestly. Actually, not that bad. And you know what we haven't done? This is kind of sick. We haven't resigned because of the invocations yet, which actually makes me really happy. That's kind of nice. I feel like the invocation fix was relatively successful. Relatively. <clears throat> wave six, what do we get? Oh God, I hate wave sixes like this. Okay, what about do I do this actually? Oh god, these guys seem at the same fucking time. I hate it. I'm literally getting coned on, dude. I don't know what I was doing. I could have stayed there and it would have been solved. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna start off with my biggest tip. This is the thing that helped me really more than anything, and it's how to start the wave. So look at the arena and all of these gray tiles that I have marked. Those are all the potential spawn locations for mobs in each wave. And the thing to note is that mobs cannot spawn within four tiles of you. So if you stand on this tile right here where I start every wave, all of the spawns around you are disabled. You're gonna start the wave, you're gonna count five ticks exactly, and on the fifth tick, you click to run behind the northeast pillar. Now, if you go early, you won't gnaw the spawns because it's exactly where you're standing on the tick they spawn. If you go late, you might not pull all the mobs behind the pillar and it can completely mess up your solve. But if you do it right, pretty much every wave is gonna be more or less insta-solved. You can theoretically get two south spawns, which will happen and they will see you, but there are ways to deal with it. We'll get into it. This method will up your game immensely. Shout out to Port Cancer for discovering it. And also, a tip for this, change your report button plugin in Runelight to game ticks, which is, that's that's how I count it. Now look at that. Ah, fuck me. Ah, that was so close to perfect, dude. Okay, that was really clean, though. That was very clean. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, I always forget about volatility. Son of a bitch. Compared to the other runs, that is terrible, dude. All right. Three kills down. What are we at? A little over two hours. All right, we gotta, we gotta up the pace, dude. We gotta up the pace. Come on. Come on, buddy. No way. All right, there we are. Clean, beautiful. Oh, that actually is a PB. And I got hit again. Dude, I told you, I get hit by that every single fucking time. All right, 4KC, 1.8 mil, another kind of dog shit chest, but that's okay. We take it for the people, dude. And what are we, three hours? Almost into Sweaty Sunday. Not bad. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Beautiful. Clean. Easy and free. That was quite good, dude. Quite good. And a sub 23. We got a 2240. Dude, we're getting better at this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 5.2 mil. Very clean. Very beautiful. Would you look at what we wake up to on wave 11? The Sunfire Legs, which is the last thing we need to green log this besides the pet. And our first unique of Sweaty Sunday, 23 mil, four hours in. And uh, the luck doesn't stop here. Doom 2, good luck. All right, buddy boy. Okay, that's pretty lucky, actually. We're good. We're safe. We're easy. We're free. We're fine. We are A-OK. -okay. okay, now, the real question, ladies and gentlemen, do we claim the Chouses or we go for the Quiver? I feel like we gotta go for the Quiver. I feel like we can't claim on the boss, right? We're gonna do the goddamn boss. Manti 3, do we have Manti 3? Oh my God, we have Manti 3. All right, good luck gamers. Oh, I did not restart, that's okay. That's all right, buddy. Ow. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god, that was so scary at the end. Oh my god. Whoo! There we go, boys. 24 KC, Quiver, and the Sunfire Chelsea's. Dude, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, boys. Are you not dead? Because I'm a fucking gamer. It is time to talk about invocations. Uh, there's a reason I waited basically a month to film this episode. It's mainly because I'm bad and I couldn't get consistent kills. But also, they changed the invocations last week to be much more bearable. There were a lot of instances before the change where your three random invocations were basically untakeable, like run enders, and you'd have to claim the loot and reset. Literally just was not worth it. But with the new invos, that's nearly impossible. So what do you take and what do you avoid? Uh, in my opinion, there's a few tiers, starting with the no-go, don't take these at any cost. Bees and Totemic, they ruin everything. 
There are a few middling ones that are traps. They'll play like super easy in some waves, but they can ruin everything pretty quickly. Take these if you have to, but try to avoid them. I'm talking about Solar Flare, Quartet, Volatility, and Re-Entry. Re-Entry 1 is doable, but for the love of God, never take two or three. Uh, Dynamic Duo and Red Flag are also honorable mentions. They can mess up solves and spawns. And Manti Mayhem 3 can also ruin a bunch of wave solves. So avoid that if you can. There's also a lot of decent invos. Blasphemy and Myopia, Bread and Butter. Those are pretty much free. Take those when you can. Manti Mayhem 1 and 2 are also completely free. But uh, you have to have a little bit more confidence because if you mess up, probably die. Uh, Doom, believe it or not, super easy. Your Doom points now reset at every wave. So Doom 1 is more or less no invocation at all like it's 15 hits dude you're you're screwed if you take that uh doom 2 is pretty doable that's 10 hits doom 3 is rough it's five hits so tread carefully i also would like to say relentless is pretty solid don't go past one if you're learning but you know it's it's decent it's takeable and the last one is frailty which has less of an effect than you'd think frailty one and two are takeable even for learners in certain situations three probably not but uh, everyone has preferences, so try out invocations yourself. So there's probably like 10 to 15 companies. So I just, I looked through a bunch of different ones. Dude, uh, what? Back-to-back -back Fanatic Helms? Dude, I gotta claim that one. I gotta fucking claim that one. What the hell? All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm claiming that one, dude. Give me this one. I'm taking the money. That's easy money. That's 11 mil. We're actually kind of cleaning up right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is going? Oh my god. Did I just double reverse that? I'm so good, dude. I'm so... I'm simply too good. That is 25 KC. Four and a half hours done. And our seventh quiver, dude. Not too fucking bad. Oh, my blood fury is out of charges. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, this is dog shit. I don't want to take Doom 3 because I am not good enough. Manti Mayhem 3 can fuck so many solves, dude. Ugh, but Solar Flare cucks on the boss. Okay, let's get a little wild. Let's get a little weird. Let's try Manti Mayhem 3 and see how bad it fucks up the waves. God, I fucking hate that, actually. Oh my god, I was a tick late. That almost worked. Fuck! Dude, what was that? Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, I did that to myself, eh? I don't know what to do here, actually. This is not good. This is bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my fucking god, that was so bad. It was solved and I died again, dude. There's no way! Oh. I'm humiliated. Oh. Oh, I got six hour. Oh. Well. In that case. In that case, that's actually not that bad. Because we were going to get disconnected anyway. I don't know. What do the people say, dude? Do we take the echo? Do we keep going? Do we go for the money? Yeah. Yeah, we go for the fucking money. Give me the fucking money, bud. Give me the Echo Crystal. Mine. Yoink. See you guys later. Last thing I'm going to cover is a few cheeky wave spawns and solves. I'm not going to show anything basic like a two-stack off tick. Uh, to figure that shit out yourself, otherwise uh, it's hopeless. First is the reinforcements. These things spawn exactly 70 ticks after the wave start. So if you have the Fortis Coliseum wave split overlay, which I recommend, that is exactly 40 seconds into the wave, which is really nice information to have on hand. The triple stack is a notorious bastard. Some of these are solvable by default, but sometimes you'll have to do the triple D stack. So run all the way to this tile west, then click three tiles south and one west. That's out of range of the third mob that is stacked, so he's gonna be pulled to the side and automatically off ticked. And as soon as this guy is pulled out, all right, run three tiles north. No further, all right? You've got to stay on the south edge of the pillar uh, and then all the way back up to hug the pillar and that dude will be dragged down to you. Bam, de-stacked. This doesn't work for every stack, full disclosure, but it's a really good tool to have in your tool belt. Next is the fabled penis spawn. Two big mobs in the front, one in the back, maybe even two sometimes. This is actually super easy in principle. If you go three tiles west in the middle of the pillar and then run out two tiles south, 
the front mob will see you first, so easy optic there. It's basically the same thing as like a normal two stack optic, but you just go two tiles west. And something else you might see is the double south spawn. And this is actually the reason I recommend dynamic duo and even red flag to an extent is because this makes it much more likely to get a double south spawn. There is technically an easy solve. If you run to your normal tile to stack everything else up behind the pillar, that's the, the very north one for reference, they will automatically be off ticked and the closer one will see you first. So keep that prayer up. Uh, and mining blows cock. So that's why you shouldn't do mining. Dude, no way we have a f echo crystal on wave 11 again. Oh. <laughs> over till it's over. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna stop singing, sorry. Bitch! Bro, what the fuck is this, dude? Please die. Thank you. God damn. All in a new PB. Let's go. Thank you. You just have to ask nicely, man. I think GM speed time is gonna be. No way we're getting another Echo Crystal. What the fuck is this? Holy shit. I gotta, I gotta fucking take it, dude. I have to take it. Oh my God. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right. What do we got, bud? 100 Onyx Bolts. We got one of these. Fancy Van 3 again, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking God. How am I so bad at this? What is this? That was so bad, and we still fucking got it. Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, dude. If we're gonna be realistic and fair to ourselves here, uh, I am not going to get another KC in 17 minutes. So for the fairness of the challenge, we will end it here. We're gonna turn in our quivers, and then we're gonna look at all the loot that we get. All right, all the loot that we've gotten. It's pretty fucking good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quiver time. What do we get? Could just lied to YouTube. I'm an honest man, dude. I would never in my life lot of YouTube. Stop the cap. Okay. Nothing there. 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 Two more. Come on, baby. Two more. Certainly. So we'll certainly get it, right? Right? Fuck. Okay. Last one, boys. Last one. Oh. Fuck. Damn it. Dude, we didn't get it. What the hell is that, dude? This is all of the major loot, besides a couple runes and a couple relatively worthless seeds, uh, that we got from eight hours straight of Fortis Coliseum. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we get? Whoa! What the hell? 113 mil? I'm gonna do the math on that one later, dude. One hour later. It is 14.25 mil per hour, which is actually insane. And at the time of recording this, there was actually no GP per hour listed on the wiki. So I didn't know if I won or lost, but it turns out even with getting that, I somehow lost. So I have to give it away. Again, to enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed to my channel because I do, all right, I check. Like the video and leave a comment down below with both your RSN and a suggestion for a future boss. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tasty.